Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and welcome back to another Frugal Vlogs. I want to talk some more about VR because, well, I think it's it's very important. I think virtual reality is going to be a big deal for those of us into simulation. Hang on, I've got to turn my sound down. It's very loud in my headphones. Hang on. Now, I'm currently using the Oculus Rift and I, I had always been a fan of virtual reality and then recently I got hold of the Oculus Touch controllers. Those are my hands. This is where VR suddenly becomes a very, very enticing proposition. Once you can see your hands in the simulated environment, and I know there are other ways of doing it. Uh, for example, I can't remember the name of it, Leap Motion. The Leap Motion controllers that I have, and I've not tried yet those. But once you get your hands into a virtual reality environment, then you really do get that sense of presence which is the holy grail, if you like, for a virtual reality experience. So I'm going to start doing VR videos, and some of them are not going to be simulation. They're just going to be looking at VR in general, because I think for us as simulation fans, I can use my hands to speak now, for us as simulation fans, <laughs> that's weird, right? Um, I think virtual reality is going to play a very large part of what we do in the future. So it's useful to keep an eye on where VR is at right now. This is Ultra Wings. This is a video game that is obviously heavily inspired by Nintendo's Pilot Wings, but it has a full simulation engine. So although the basic concept of the game is to have fun and shoot stuff and be very silly in an aircraft, there's actually a proper flight model involved and everything else. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to do this by reaching out with my Oculus Touch controllers there and simply close my hand to pick up the helmet and I'm going to put it on. Here we go. Now, I've got a save game, so I'm going to pick that save game up and insert it into the computer. All of that was just done using the Oculus Touch controllers, which are pretty wild. By the way, oh, I need to move back. My chair is a little bit too close, so hopefully the microphone is still going to work. Obviously, I have no idea right now where the microphone is in relation to me. Um, an interesting point, by the way, is once you get the Oculus Touch controllers, you actually get another virtual reality sensor. So that the Oculus Touch controllers are what turns Oculus Rift into room-scale VR. I'm scratching my nose. <laughs> it's what turns Oculus Rift into room scale VR, which is something that the HTC Vive has always have had. But the difference, I think, between Oculus Touch and HTC Vive, which is why I'm such a big fan, are the controllers are so natural. Look at this. Like, I can partially close or fully close my hands, put my thumbs down, up, and it picks all that stuff up, which is actually amazing. Really, really, really quite amazing. Anyway, let's get into Ultra Wings and I'll show you what this is all about. So I'm going to log in here. Need to be careful not to knock the computer off the desk. So you have license tests that you've done, landing tests, rush jobs, and so on. I've done the license tests already. We're going to do a rush job here. Now, this is take off and fly through the rings. This is actually not too cool. Let's not do that one. By the way, touch the wheels down the landing zone. Oh, we can do that. You have to touch the wheels down in the landing zone. Uh, this is a very, very simulation-like experience. And if you've not done a lot of uh, VR stuff in a virtual reality headset, it can be quite unnerving and quite disorienting. Bear that in mind. I'm going to pick up my helmet here and we'll go... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me put this down. I was just... Sorry. I'll put the piggy bank back there. Can I move this folder? Yeah, I'll just put this over here. There we go. I'll pick up... Oh, I did it again! Hard to judge where my hands are sometimes. There we go. And we'll put this on. See you in a minute. Here I am. Air traffic control. Pilot, we need you to deliver these packages to the mark on your compass. Your aircraft's wheels need to touch down within the zone to complete the job. Touch down in the bullseye to earn the gold. All right. Good luck. Now, this is a proper VR flight simulation in that you are using your hands. So I have no physical controllers in front of me at all. I can grab the stick and move it. I'm not actually holding anything other than the Oculus Touch controllers. And I can grab the throttle and increase the throttle or lower it down. And it's all done in virtual reality, which is really very, very cool and very strange. Notice, of course, the graphics in this are highly stylized. They're not at all realistic, but that doesn't really matter, to be honest. Now we have to go through startup checklist. There's a little iPad here telling me I need to enable the fuel flow, which I remember doing once before. It's actually very tricky to do. Hang about. No, put my thumb down. Uh, nearly. Get up. Fuel flow is good. Oh, now we'll energize the magnetos. 
Just flick that switch up. Engage the starter. Starter's engaged. Oh, and we're actually moving already. Now there is a way of stopping. Oh gosh. Let's let's not do that. Where's the runway? Okay, so there's a runway. I, I can't actually remember how. Ah, there's my rudder pedals. But where's where is the where's the brakes? Okay, well let's not worry about that for now. Let's just increase the throttle here. We'll use the rudder pedals. Yes, we know. Yes, I know. It's trying to fly, but obviously can't. I'm gonna grab the stick here. We'll taxi on down here to the end of the runway, such as it is. Now I'm using. There is actually two joysticks on the Oculus Touch controllers. The left joystick is the rudder pedals. So I'm using those right now. Obviously gripping the right Oculus Touch controller for the main control surfaces. Uh, there should be enough of a taxi area, I think. So we'll just look around, make sure we're clear. Getting a little bit too fast. Okay. I'm already getting a sense of motion. Alright, full power. And it's actually the rudders that are the most unnerving in this. That sudden yaw can be very, very off-putting. And we're airborne. Simple as that. Fly to the waypoint now. Now... Oh, I think I still want to hold that. I don't know where the waypoint is. But, because it's virtual reality, I can just look around. So, we'll pull the power back into the green there. Then we'll bank to the right. Pull back on the stick a little bit. Surreal, isn't it? Well, probably not for you, because you're looking at a flat screen. But it actually is very surreal. Of all the flight simulation VR experiences I've got, I've got to say, so far... This is the most realistic, <laughs> which is the craziest thing to say, given that this is a video game. It's about $20, I think, if you have Oculus Rift. I'm not sure if it's available for the Vive. I'm sure it probably will be at some point. But yeah, it's about $20. It's great. Oh, I actually let go of the trigger. The way the touch controllers work are there are two triggers in the front. And when you grip those triggers, see, there's one trigger I just let go. And if I let go of the other one, whoa, you see, you're actually gripping the thing that you're looking at or, or pointing your hand towards. That's how it works. And it's surprisingly natural. There's also the two joysticks. If you rest your thumb on the top of the two joysticks, then the thumb is detected, which is kind of cool as well. Anyway, I think the waypoint is over here to the left. I do see a, a spinning cube. I'm not entirely sure how what I'm going to do on this. It is very realistic and actually very disorienting because it's so realistic. Now, where do I have to land? This is very much like my Topini tour videos, I think. Crazy landings. I, I can't imagine that I would be able to come to a stop if I land there, but we'll try. And it said my wheels have to touch down in the landing zone. Maybe, maybe the game will pause as soon as I touch down. I don't need to worry too much about what happens after touchdown. Let's find out. There are more things to do in this, by the way. There are... F this is air traffic control. You are cleared to land. Oh, fabulous. There are free flight modes. There's a shooting mode where you grab a pistol up here and start shooting things. I've not done those yet. I've just done the, the license and the basic intro test of flying this little micro light here, which is a lot of fun. All right, so we're going to bring the power all the way back now into the yellow. There. Just let go of that. And we'll start to descend. Again, because it's VR, you can completely turn around in your seat to get some idea of where you are. And you can make yourself as nauseous or not nauseous as you want by being as foolish, reckless, and <laughs> ham-fisted on the controls as you want. I'm trying to be gentle because although I have spent quite a lot of time in VR, I've spent many hours in virtual reality, in particular in Elite Dangerous of all the things, it is this sim which can put my head sideways the best. Let's put some flaps in here. Can you give me some flaps? There we go. Whoa. I'm not sure that was a good idea, actually. I'm trying to manage my speed a little bit. A little bit of power here. We need to touch our wheels down in that touchdown zone. Quite a lot of movement required from these sticks. I'm now yawing sideways and flying sideways. Oh my goodness. 
This isn't going to end very well at all. Okay. Let's see if we can go around, Frugal. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to go around. We'll pull the flaps in, power up, stick back. That was not going too well at all. We'll try again. Let's try it from this side, I think. The first go around on video and YouTube. It's, it's actually quite unnerving. It's very easy to forget that you're supposed to be gripping the controller and actually let go of it because you're not holding anything physical other than the Oculus Touch controllers. And of course they don't provide any feedback. There's some rumble and vibration. So as I'm controlling these here, I can feel a slight clicking, you know, a little bit of force feedback there, just to show me that I am interacting with something, but no resistance, like you'd get out of a joystick. I can hear the wind rushing past my ears at this point as well. All right, this is a better approach, I think. If we go over here, try not to get too low. That would get wet very quickly. Maybe that's not wind. Maybe that's waves, because I am getting ridiculously low. Power. I'm just going to hold on to both sets of controls now. Little bit of rubber. Try to coordinate this down. This isn't going to go in well. Nope. I'm now a dolphin. That was insane. Pilot not dead, thankfully. Okay, continue. Let's tr let's try that again. Jobs. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to do this. Fly through the rings. Well, that's a different job. These are actually even harder to do, but we'll try it. I think I've done this, actually. Let's try this. Wear the helmet. All right, don't 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 mess with the piggy bank this time. It's a nice helmet. Put that on. Okay. Your goal is fly through the wings. Is to fly through all the rings before the timer on the tablet reaches zero. Good luck. I do not know how to grip that reliably, that little switch. <laughs> Let's try the other hand. No, I just can't get it. I cannot get that little switch there. Let's try this again. Come on, come on. I'll just bash it with my hand. One of the downsides of virtual reality currently, because it is such a new and almost experimental technology, let me set my view a little bit, see if that helps, is interaction can be a little bit strange. Oh, you want me to turn it the other way now? You see that little diagram there? It has me flicking this to the left. Mm. Ah, move! Nope, that's, that's the flaps. We don't want to mess with the flaps. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I got it. Oof. That was actually a lot harder than it should have been. Magnetos. Energize. We're good. Let's add some throttle. We'll go fly through the rings. Lots of throttle. Grab the yoke. Stick. We'll go through them. I think this is the first one, not the one on the right. Back and try to keep this relatively nice. There's one. Yeah, score plus one. My little iPad down there is telling me. Whoa, this one's not too good. Yeah, that's a plus one. We got it. Just not ideal. More throttle, more cowbell. See, this is actually quite tricky to do now. That did not count, so we need to turn around and go and do that one again. I think I was stalling. It felt very much like a stall. Nose up. Bank over there. A little bit of rudder. To try to coordinate. We'll circle around and try to get that ring once again. I can see another one over there. But we have a time limit here. 2 minutes 45 seconds to go. Can't spend too long messing about here. Oh, I should not have done that. I leaned forward in my chair. <laughs> that was not a pleasant experience at all. I just had lunch as well. I had cake, which I'm sure is not the best food to have for a pre-virtual reality experience. Oh my goodness. This is actually insanely crazy hard to do. Okay, let's try again. Now you can, if you don't have Oculus Touch, for this sim, for Ultra Wings, 
you can do it with just an Xbox controller. And it's a lot less unsettling. Is that, that better? That, that the right way to say that? I guess it is. It's a lot easier to manage mentally than the Oculus Touch controllers. Because the Oculus Touch controllers and I guess the HTC Vive hand controllers really do give you that sense of presence. They really do make you feel like you're there no matter how cartoony the environment may appear. I'm going to be very gentle with that rudder because that's just not working for me. Alright, I'm going to keep this at full throttle because we need to do some fairly hectic banking. I'm actually going to get this this time. Yes! Okay. Oh, gosh. Pull back on the stick. No crashing! We crashed! Am I, I'm still alive. No, I'm not still alive. <laughs> now I'm a star. Anyway, there it is. Not the best demonstration of this at all. Can I pick this up? No. Can I pick that up? I can. Ugh. Put that over there. We don't want that. We don't want to save game now. Probably should start again because I'm just ruining everything. Get off my desk. Ugh. Anyway, not the best example of VR flying in the world, but it is, I think, quite demonstrative of where VR is going. And as I said, we'll, all, we'll be doing more videos on VR. Not frugal vlogs, but they'll kind of have their own series, which will be kind of cool. Just to give a view of what's happening in the world, in the virtual world, and see how it might impact us in the simulation world. Anyway, that's it for this time. Uh, as always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye! That's, that's a really appalling gesture. Bye!